Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to bypass the max entity cramming game rule which was added in Minecraft 1.11. This game rule is on by default and it can do damage to entities that are squashed in an area together. As you can see at the moment we are in Minecraft 1.10.2 and we're going to go into a world which will demonstrate how we do this bypassing. So let's log in we will see a whole bunch of cows in a spot together. Now this is a familiar site if you've ever messed around with cow farms and the like and there are many farms in this game which will cram a load of entities into one space. When you update you may run into some issues as the game rule is going to do damage to them. So let's press F3 and you'll see that there are 49 entities in this world, 48 in front of us which are the cows and the 49th one is me the player. So when we load this into 1.11 a lot of those cows are going to take damage and potentially die because of this game rule. So if you load up your world and you're next to one of these farms or if you've got a farm in your spawn chunks you may be susceptible to some unwanted damage to your entities. So this video is going to show you how to bypass that. To make a backup of your world you'll need to locate where it is on your hard drive. If you do not know how to do this there will be instructions in the description box which will allow you to get to your .minecraft folder where you should see the saves folder. And if we go into here we can see our max entity cramming game rule. What we simply need to do here is copy this and then paste it again here and that means that we've made a copy of the world. So now what we can do is open the copy of the world which will have the max entity game rule on and we can turn it off and then we're going to copy a file from this folder into that one and that way we can bypass the rule when we update the world. So in the bottom left of our screen you can see it's Minecraft 1.11 we're going to now open the copy of the world, this one right here, as you can see it's got underscore 2, that's the copy that we just made. We're going to log into this world and what we're probably going to see is that the cows are taking damage because of the max entity cramming. In fact, it looks like it's instantly killed them, which was something I was not expecting. All of those cows were at full health. But anyway, now what we're going to do is update this world. So we're going to go game rule and then we're going to go straight to max entity cramming and you're going to set this to zero. Now you can set it to a higher number if you would like. Let's say 100 or 200 just in case you wanted to avoid any problems where there would actually be too many entities in one space. Zero is the number that turns the game rule off. So you want to do that and then you want to exit out of your world. So we're back here again. What we want to do is to go into the world that we just played in. We want to copy this level dot dat and then we want to go into our original world and then paste it here so it overwrites that level dot dat. So I get a little prompt on my other screen. I click on overwrite and now it has successfully overwritten that file. Now I want to show you a program called MBT Explorer. This is looking at that same file and you can see that I've highlighted the max entity cramming game rule. It's part of that file and this means that when we log into that world the game rule will always already be set at zero so we won't run into any issues. So now what we can do is go back into Minecraft and open up the world. Once again in the bottom left of your screen you can see we're in Minecraft 1.11. This world we've already opened in that one, this one we haven't. Notice here it says version 1.11, that's because of the level.dat file. So now we have the same amount of cows in that space and none of them have died. If we press F3 you can see that all 48 of them are intact. And it really is as simple as that. If you have enjoyed this video please do leave a like as always thank you for your support. And be sure to check out the video I posted yesterday. It is the 20 secret changes in Minecraft 1.11 video. If you didn't catch it, there is a link on your screen and in the description box. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.